that's no bueno. that I actually get to talk to you, but I am currently in my bathroom at the hotel. And I tell you that this is the best hotel that I've ever stayed at other than Disney World. I'm not lying. <laughs> so you walk in like this and here's the bathroom that I was just in. So it is very, very bougie, even the shower stuff. So even though I packed shower stuff, it is still nice to use. So maybe we'll end up using that instead. The door to the bathroom is a sliding glass door, not sliding glass, but like a sliding barn door with a mirror. And then here's the closet and then the two beds. Here's some more ottomans and a desk area. In there, I'm pretty sure is the safe, maybe? No, it is like racks for a pantry. You can't see it because the lights are off right now. That's microwave and there's a fridge, TV, vanity, where I will do my makeup tomorrow and two beds. We had quite a wild three hours worth of extravaganzas, if you will. Basically, when we were done visiting my family in Morris, we drove half an hour away to Ottawa to go to our Airbnb, and we get into the Airbnb and we immediately smell, upon entering the garage, cigarette smoke, and we're just like, red flag number one right so we walk into the hotel well not the hotel the airbnb and the place is just unkempt it's dirty floors it's all things scattered throughout everywhere like they left 20 minutes ago sort of vibe there was food in the fridge still that's no bueno we go upstairs to look at some things like the bathrooms and the bedrooms to make sure everything is okay before we actually unpack and it in fact was not okay there were things everywhere the beds were unmade it was just it was so bad so so bad you guys so we didn't spend more than five minutes in that place we literally turned around and backtracked back to morris the great thing about this specific situation is the fact that the family that was owning the airbnb the woman that was talking to my mom throughout this whole process was like i had no idea about this and they ended up getting the cleaning crew fired because they were supposed to be there six hours ago so i don't know if that's a win or not and we got a full refund for it so that was great but we ended up finding the last two hotel rooms in a Hampton Inn 10 minutes away from Morris and it could not have gone better I showed you the room tour already it is so so nice and the fact that it is in the same price range as that Airbnb was and this is so so much better I'm just appalled at the fact that we drove in pouring rain by the way it's like a tornado warning outside like it couldn't have been crazier and yet here we are in a very bougie hotel room my brother and I are in one room my parents are in another if you hear something in the background just because my brother's getting ready for bed and taking a shower and things but yeah that's been my night <laughs> i don't know if i'll talk to you guys tomorrow just because tomorrow's kind of a sentimental day we're doing a celebration of life for one of my family members that passed away a couple years ago from covid maybe i'll talk to you guys on monday today is saturday by the way i don't know if i said that already i hope you guys are doing well and i will see you on either tomorrow or monday I didn't vlog any of yesterday just because, like I said, it was kind of a family thing. But today we're going to be basically playing tourist in my dad's hometown, so I think this will be really fun. We're going to go to a museum, we might go to lunch somewhere, so let's go! <music> Hello, 
Hello, so I am here at Starved Rock State Park. It's in Illinois, I think. It's either Illinois or Indiana. It's kind of weird, but a very, very distant family member, we'll just say, has a Indian artifact collection here at the visitor center. So we're going to go take a look at that. I think that's gonna be really cool. My family has a huge history in this town. We just went to go see my grandmother's, grandmother's childhood home, which is really cool. That house is so tiny and she was like one of seven kids. So the fact that there were two bedrooms with like 10 people living in it. It's just absolutely insane to me. So that was really cool. I can put a picture up over here. I love that little house. It's so cute. But right now we're waiting for my family to get here. We have some family members coming to meet us and we're going to go take a tour of the visitor center. Sorry about the lighting, it is what it is. <laughs> but my brother is currently at my parents' room, so I figured, well, I had the room to myself. I just showered, I would talk to you guys for a little bit. So basically what happened today, you saw a little bit of it already, but the first thing that we went to was the state park, and that was really cool because I have a great, great, great grandfather or something like that that donated a bunch of his artifacts from when he was like living and working with like architecture fossil people, what what are those called? Archaeologists, that's what they're called. After we went to the state park, we had lunch at the lodge up there, which was really good, although my stomach really hated it, so there's that. If you hear something in the background, it's because the finale of fireworks are happening. Tomorrow's 4th of July, so people are doing a lot of festivities today and tomorrow. I can see fireworks in Morris from my hotel, which is kind of cool, but anyways, after we went to the state park, we went to the Lock and Dam on the Chicago River, the, the Illinois River. Nothing super, super exciting to me at least, but it was kind of neat to just sit up there and watch the dam do its thing. After that, we went to the Buffalo Park, which was really random, but I'll post a couple pictures here of the buffalo that we saw. There was an enclosure that had three buffalo in them. They were just chilling. It was the afternoon and it was hot, so I don't blame them for just wanting to lay down and do nothing. But then we went to my aunt and uncle's house and just chilled for a couple hours, played some games and stuff, and then we came back here and I took a shower and and here we are. So tomorrow is going to be our travel day to go to Galena. We're going to be going to my cousin's house for breakfast slash lunch and then leave for Galena from there. So that's basically the plan for tomorrow morning. I don't know if I'll vlog that, but when we get to Galena, I'll give you an Airbnb tour and hopefully it goes better than the last one. here is really dim but this airbnb is so much nicer than the first one like it's absolutely insane if you hear my family in the background just because the room that i'm in right now my brother and i's bedroom is in a lofted area i'll give you guys a little bit of a tour either today or tomorrow it'll depend on what my family is doing because i don't really want them in the shot this place is so nice Hello, so it is currently almost 5.30 on Wednesday and I figured instead of talking throughout the day, which I did a little bit of, I'll just give you a little bit of a recap because I don't really like to vlog in public or in front of my family. So my family is currently out doing errands or taking a nap upstairs. So I'm basically in charge of making sure the laundry gets taken out, which is why you probably can hear that in the background. So I apologize. And it's very echoey in here and I don't have a microphone. So we're just gonna do what we have to deal with. So basically what we did was we went to downtown Galena all day long. It was really, really nice, really historic, very beautiful. We started at the Ulysses S. Grant house, which was really interesting. A lot of the stuff in there is very original, like absolutely original, no modifications whatsoever, which is really interesting. It's from the late 18, well, no, early 1800s. Ulysses S. Grant was a Civil War general here at the U.S., and he ended up being the 18th president of the U.S., so it was very, very significant. A lot of the stuff around Galena is centered around Ulysses S. Grant and his story. Hello, 
So I just finished touring the Ulysses S. Grant house, which was really cool. We're about to go out to a little scene of Clout next to a statue that was of Ulysses' wife, I guess. You can kind of start to see it a little bit. You're also hearing crickets, so I apologize. Look at that. It's so pretty. And then we went to downtown Galena, like the main strip, and we took a trolley tour, which was really interesting. The guide told us all sorts of very historic things. Basically, Galena, the center of it, is part of a historic district, so any things that they want to do with modifications, like doing upgrades on the front of the house or inside even, making sure that things are up to code is hard too because they have to get it all approved by the historic district of Illinois. So it's really, really interesting to see all sorts of original, original architecture. It's really, really pretty. I'll pop up a couple pictures here. Next, we took some pictures and walked through some shops and got some food at a really, really good restaurant on the main strip. And then we went to the, what was it called? The Belvedere House, which was really interesting. Basically, the guy that owned the house was an advisor to Abraham Lincoln, and he ended up being the advisor to, or some sort of cabinet member of the Ulysses S. Grant cabinet. So that was really cool and interesting. It wasn't my absolute favorite, partly because we had to wait a while, but the architecture on the outside is just beautiful. I was really excited because my dad got a gift for his birthday to do a hot air balloon ride, but it looks like it's going to rain, so that was canceled, and so we're not doing that on the trip anymore. We couldn't find any other time times that worked for us so that was really sad but I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day probably just chill at the Airbnb have some snacks watch a movie it's just gonna be a really chill night so yeah that's basically the plan for right now I don't know what we're gonna be doing tomorrow we'll just have to sort of play it by ear and see what happens while I have the house to myself I'm gonna give you an Airbnb tour but I'm going to do it with voiceover and b-roll clips because my dad is taking a nap on the couch upstairs the first thing in this hallway is the full-length mirror right in front of the front door and then as we go upstairs, you'll see the loft area that my brother and I have been using. It has two twin beds. There's also a full bathroom in here. You can also see the kitchen from this little area. Going back down the loft steps, in the front hallway is this bedroom with a queen bed, I believe. It also has a full bathroom attached. I think this was meant to be the master bathroom. And it also has an entry to the bathroom from the main hallway, which we closed off. Further on this hallway is the main living area, so there's a couch and a chair and a TV, and then there's this little balcony in the kitchen dining room area. There's also a little bar seating in the back, probably for kids, and then here's a little kitchenette. Heading down the stairs to the basement. This is another full bedroom that my parents have been staying in. There's also a walk-in closet in here, which is cool. And then this goes to the laundry. Dubuque, Iowa, which is like 30-ish minutes away from Galena. The Mississippi River is right here, which is really cool. So that's why we came to Dubuque in the first place, is to see the Mississippi. So let's spend the day in Iowa. up the car to go to Galena for a little bit and then we're going to make the drive all the way back to Chicago so that we can get on a flight first thing in the morning. So 
we have to say goodbye to the really, really cute Airbnb. Hello, so I am in my pajamas in a hotel room. As you can tell, it is, what time is it? Like 9.30? Yeah, 9.35 and I am exhausted. Today has been a super duper busy day and at this point I'm just ready for a vacation from my vacation, if that makes sense. So today we did a lot of things. We woke up at the Airbnb. We toured the oldest house in Galena, which was built in 1826. So that was really cool, really interesting. I got a sweatshirt that I'll show you in just a second. And I also got a postcard for a friend that collects them. If you're watching this, got you something special. Anyways, other than that, we've just been traveling. We drove three hours to Morris to drop my aunt off that came with us to this trip. And then we drove to Chicago where we turned in the car. And now we're just chilling at the hotel until tomorrow where we get a shuttle to head to the airport. So I really hope the angle here is okay. And if you hear teeth brushing in the background, it's because my brother's getting ready for bed. But basically I lost or left behind the Clemson hoodie that I had. I was so devastated. It was probably in the sheet somewhere and I took it off in the middle of the night and it just I, it never turned back up so I hope whoever has it has a good time with it I hope it keeps them warm and everything but because of that I didn't have a jacket anymore so that meant that I got to buy myself a new sweatshirt so this is what I got my only souvenir from this trip and honestly I'm fine with that because it is my favorite color ever. It says Galena, Illinois. It is this really pretty like knit material. It's not like a regular winter sweater, but it's still, you know, soft enough that it's not like super, I don't really know what the word is. It's not super plasticky feeling. And the inside is my favorite part. It is like a nice fleece line material. It is so warm, so comfy. And I got it in a large, which is a size bigger than I normally am because I want it to be oversized. And it is absolutely amazing, perfect. So I will not be losing this. I'm exhausted. I will see you guys tomorrow.